Hey guys, welcome back to Small Football Manager 2019. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and welcome to part two of season one of Life After Venga. And in today's episode, we have the North London Derby as well as another London Derby. We're playing West Ham, uh, I guess, North versus East um, as it goes. But uh, yeah, West Ham away from home is going to be quite a tricky one. Since you were last with us, we have only played one match against Everton, which we won 4-2. Now, I'll explain that in a minute because uh, I played that last night and, and lost it 3-1. Loaded it up today, the match wasn't played. I really don't get what was going on. Now, I saved my games to the OneDrive, so I don't know whether I just turned my computer off before it synced or whatever, but hey-ho, so I played it again. Obviously, same team, same tactic, ended up winning 4-2. I don't know how I can get around that unless I just keep replaying it until I lose 3-1 again, but uh, I definitely lost a 3-1 because I was talking to uh, a, a good guy called Rob Ponton about it um, on, on Steam Chat, but Anyway, we won 4-2, Lacazette, Torreira, Drinkwater and Bellotti getting the goals there. So, um, let's have a little look at the, the, the tactic. I, I've delved into trading for the first time, by the way, um, which is interesting, to say the least. So, so this is what we're going we're gonna to go for um, next week. Is it here? Here we go. We're going to go for the vertical ticket tack and modified. So I'm going to try and learn the, the, the tactic a little bit more. So we'll find out later in this episode how that goes. We'll look at the training report and stuff like that. I've also done some big match preparation for the, the Man City game. Who knows? This, this might just be terrible, uh, a terrible idea, but We'll try it. We'll see what goes on. But uh, this is the team for today anyway. We've got Petr Cech in goal, who's wanted by Manchester City, no less. Uh, we've then got Mustafi, Socrates and, and Holden in defence. We've then got Bellerin and uh, Monreal in defence, who's wanted by Shanghai. And uh, Therese and Ramsey in the midfield with Ozil starting behind Aubameyang, um, or Aubameyang, I should say, and Lacazette up top. So here we go. We're ready for the North London derby. Unfortunately, um, uh, what's his name? Kalazanach uh, is injured for three to four weeks. Uh, he was injured in the last uh, last game against Everton. Not the first time, the second time, unfortunately. So uh, I guess that's the one downside to our um, lost save or whatever. Whoever can find that lost save, you know. You're welcome to it. You, you can you can watch the highlights of that Everton match. We really weren't good, um, even though we went one nil up. I think um, we lost three one. It was terrible. But here's Özil anyway on to today's match. As he is bearing on this right hand side, that was wonderful footwork from him, and he gets it into the middle. Aubameyang is there, but couldn't quite uh, make anything of it. Here's Torreira now. Uh, Ramsey for to Lacazette and what a finish that is from Alexandra Lacazette, his fourth goal of the season, he's got the celebration to go with it, that was absolutely brilliant from him and Bearin uh, was was the man with the fancy footwork at the start of it to rear to Ramsey, wonderful back heel and what a finish that is from Alexandra Lacazette who has been sensational so far and Monreal's blooming injured now which is Stupid because he's our, our only other left back. This could be a little bit of a problem now. <sighs> he's not. Hold on, let's let's undo that. Who does the the assistant recommend? The the meant to have a recommend button now. Um, I don't know. Can bear in player there. He can now. He can now. So we'll go for that. Um, we'll go for uh, Licksteiner on the right-hand side. Harry Kane's picked up a knock. Apparently, he's uh, subject of a £188 million bid by Manchester United, which would be uh, pretty insane. What's happened here? I don't know why I paused. Um, I thought we'd got another injury or something. But, um, yeah, £188 million, That would be pretty damn crazy, wouldn't it? But uh, here's Ericsson. Ericsson on the ball. Passes it wide to Alderweireld now. Oh, do you see the star jumps from uh, whoever that is on the bench? I can't quite see, but here's Aubameyang with the chance. That could have been 2-0. 
I was taking your eyes away from the action and uh, Aubameyang wanted to wait until you were actually watching until he scored. So he kindly missed for you there. But uh, nine points so far, three out of three. I mean, we'd take that, to be honest. Um, oh, Aubameyang's having another bad game. P- played poorly against Everton, actually. Uh, look, look at the possession. That's not what you want to see from an Arsenal side. I don't really know how we're ahead in this game. Uh, I mean, Tottenham haven't really had a meaningful chance yet, and I think that's probably the reason. Uh, we're going to bring uh, Aubameyang off. We're going to put on Belotti instead, and hopefully he can do a decent job up top. Um, that's a that's a good ball forward towards Lacazette, and, and I thought for a second we could have been having deja vu there, but um, no, I, I, you know, these are the sort of games where. You know, we're not playing well. If we come out with three points, then we're genuine title contenders this season. But here's Dembele, and he breaks our heart, doesn't he? <laughs> it's one all. Musa Dembele <laughs> with the assist. And uh, with the goal, sorry, and Deli Ali with the assist. Trippier. I mean, who was that? Uh, it was Bellerin. Pl- deputising at left back apparently he can't tackle anymore just because he's on a different side of the pitch but uh, never mind it's one all and uh, you know what we'd also take a draw in this match that's off the bar Lichtensteiner, uh, Lichtensteiner gets it away off the line well, that was pretty terrifying Mesut Ozil having a terrible season so far we'll get Mkhitaryan in behind him see what he can do but, uh, yeah, you know, we had that early goal, we had that positivity, and it's all just been sucked out of us. We, we don't seem to be wanting to win this game at all now. Uh, Belotti's not having a good game. Who can we bring on that and make a difference in this match? I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Actually, we've made all three substitutions, haven't we? So it doesn't matter if I can see it. I can't do anything about it. We'll go attacking. We'll tell them to get creative. That seems to be the go-to um, shout this year. Look at their inspiration on all of their faces. Wonderful. And now in added time. I hope we're not going to lose it late on here. But here's like I said, maybe we can win it late on, though. Here's Bellerin. Bellerin passes it to Ramsey. Oh, that was a big chance. To, to win the match there. And now Tottenham. Are they going to get their own chance? Ben Davies to Eriksen. Davies. Oh, good block. Oh, this is, this is nerve-wracking. Davies. Back to Dembele. Back to Davies. Oh, it's away now. Here's Lacazette. Good header on to Bellotti. Oh, he's offside, unfortunately. But I think it's going to be one all, which, you know, if you'd give us that at the start of the match, I think I'd have took it. It's a little bit unlucky that uh, we were ahead and, and you know, they had one big chance and took it. But, you know, 1-1 one, one against Tottenham is fine. Well, here's the trading report. Uh, nobody... Uh, had a had a bad performance in training, which is great. The average performance was seven point five two. Gwen Doozy was apparently the, um, uh, the the guy that was was working hard, which is really really good. Um, so yeah, it's been a very good overall week of of trade. Most of the players have responded responded well to the sessions and seem to be enjoying themselves on the training pitch. Who knew I was a tracksuit manager? Well, a couple of changes for this match against West Ham then. Uh, Maitland Niles comes in at left back for the injured Montreal and uh, Mkhitaryan uh, comes in behind uh, the strikers instead of Ozil. He's an advanced player making an attack. So what I've done is changed Aubameyang's role to complete forward uh, uh, on the support duty. And, you know, lo and behold, I haven't continued to the match because I'm an idiot. So uh, we are doing our... Um, Little little bits of press and continue in between, but I'm hoping that that side is is good enough to beat West Ham. Um, we've had our Europa League draw as well. Uh, it seems like quite a quite a, a comfortable group. I think we've got uh, uh, Elijah Warsaw. Uh, we've got Real Betis. Um, 
Oh, who was the other? Rosenborg in uh, Denmark, I believe. So it should be, it should be one that we're looking uh, to win fairly easily, if not get six points out, uh, six out of six wins in it, um, and and hopefully we can then push on later into the competition. But uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, I like this new Arsenal away kit though. Uh, I'm very much a fan of that. The uh, the the blue and and sort of burgundy. I like that a lot. But uh, yeah, West Ham. Where are they in the league at the moment? They're currently fifteenth. So again, it should be a a match that we're looking to win today. Um, obviously, West Ham haven't had the the best start in real life either. And uh, you, you would expect Arsenal uh, to come out on top in that game. So that was that was nearly that was nearly in. Um, and if we lose today, then the, there's a bit of a, a problem, you know. Uh, obviously, we technically lost the match against Everton, so um, maybe this tactic isn't the, the the one. But we'll 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 keep with it for a little bit, especially for today. Mark Noble. Oh my goodness me. It's just, it's just terrible. The defending has been really atrocious so far in this save. Uh, Will Shep, former Arsenal player, of course, uh, getting the ball to the back post, but uh, nobody was there to meet it. Unfortunately for him, Cresswell with a chance of the free kick here. It's just over the bar, but uh, West Ham most definitely on top so far in this match. Check out to Holden now. Holden pushing forward. Boots it forward. What a ball that is to Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, and oh, that should have been his first goal since that uh, winner against Fulham. Torreira gets it into the middle. Diop away. He has Ramsey now. Back to Torreira. That might be offside. Apparently not. He has Arnautovic. He's pushing forward now. West Ham on the counter attack then. Yarmolenko. Yeah, I'm a length. Oh, now to on out of it. Great tackle. What a tackle that was. And Socrates gets it away. Here's Fredericks. Hopefully we can win it back here. No, noble. Yeah, I'm a length. Oh, I'm actually shocked at how how much West Ham are dominating here. I think we need to demand uh, demand more from the boys. We're going to go attacking as well. Just try and switch things up a little bit because. Uh, we we certainly don't want to see that that amount of shots against us in the the first half an hour. Here's Fredericks, Noble, Noble, Yarmolenko. Oh, this is a chance. Oh, it's off the bar. Here's Arnautovic. Chance for West Ham. That's got to be a penalty, surely. Oh, it's not. We got away with that. Be happy to gain at half time here because oh, we've just not had a good game so far. Maitland Niles is uh, the best player on the pitch, apparently. For us, at least. Uh, but we'll be aggressive and tell them that we're not happy going into this second half. And hopefully, we can get a bit of reaction from them. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we probably only need one goal, and that'll sort of open the floodgates a little bit. Touch wood. But uh, West Ham definitely on top at the moment, going into the 60-minute mark. Ooh, Lacazette hasn't had the best of games so far, has he? Maybe we can swap him for the complete forward, because uh, Aubameyang had the big chance and didn't take it. So we'll put... Uh, what does he want to do? Oh, he wants to be a poacher. Okay, he can be a poacher, why not? Mkhitaryan's not having a good game either. Let, let's put Ramsey in behind the striker. Surely he's got to do a, de a decent job. We'll swap them two round as well. Get Danny Drinkwater on. He did well against Everton, actually. Um, he, he had a really, really good game. And, and obviously we didn't play him against Tottenham. But uh, hopefully he can do something today. Will Shane in the middle. Yarmolenko's there and it's 1-0 West Ham. <sighs> Set piece has got us there. Um, should have probably went passion, but Wilshire got it in, and it was just a really good set piece at the end, and and Czech couldn't do anything about it. But that's really annoying because now we're going to have to try and come back, even though we're not playing well. 
we've only really had one big chance. It was a brilliant ball, wasn't it, from uh, Rob Holden early on. But uh, ten minutes to go now. Wilshire again with the, the corner kick. Bob Winners there. He has Arnautovic. This is a chance. Wilshire into the middle. Bellerin gets it away. Come on. Counter-attack now. Oh, good tackle. Here's Bellotti. Gets it forward to Lacazette. This could be a chance for Lacazette. He shoots and what a miss. Oh, my word. You can't be missing those kinds of chances at this level. We'll bring Ozil on for the last five minutes. I just I just think we've played really badly today, although he is a set piece at the end. Drink water with the free header. Oh my word, that was a big, big chance. And today it's been an episode of what might have been. We had big chances against Tottenham. We've had massive chances against West Ham. We've come out with one point. Not good enough. If you've enjoyed that, then make sure you do leave a like down below. Really does help out in these early parts, and it means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.